He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders and wonders of his love. Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Tuesday, January the 1st, the Feast of the Holy Name of Jesus. The scripture for this service, Psalm 145, Colossians chapter 2, verse 6 to 12, and the canticle Isaiah chapter 60, verses 1 through 3, and 18 and 19. Our help is in the name of God the Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant to us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. I exalt you, my God, my ruler, and bless your name forever and ever. Alleluia. Psalm 145. Alleluia. I exalt you, my God, my ruler, and I bless your name forever and ever. Every day I bless you, and I praise your name forever and ever. Great are you, my God, and greatly to be praised, and your glory is awesome. One generation shall tell the next your works and declare your mighty deeds. I speak of the glorious honor of your majesty and of your wondrous works, and peoples shall speak of your terrible acts. I will declare your greatness. They shall publish the memory of your great goodness and shall sing of your righteousness. You are righteous and gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great loving kindness. You are good to all and your tender mercies are over all your works. All your works shall praise you and your saints shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and talk of your power to make known to the people your mighty acts and the glory of your strength. Your dominion is an everlasting dominion and your strength endures forever from one generation to the next. You uphold all that fall and you raise all that are bowed down. The eyes of the people wait upon you and you give them their food in due season, you open your hand and sate the desire of every living thing. You are righteous in all your ways and holy in all your works. You are close to all that call upon you, to all that call upon you in truth. You will fulfill the desires of those who fear you. You hear their cry and save them. You preserve all who love you, but all the wicked will you destroy. And my mouth will praise you. Let all flesh bless your holy name forever and ever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I exalt you, my God, my ruler and I bless your name forever and ever. Alleluia. The lesson is from Paul's letter to the Colossians, chapter 2, beginning at verse 6. 
As you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord, continue to live your lives in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, just as you were taught, abounding in thanksgiving. See to it that no one takes you captive through philosophy and empty deceit, according to human tradition, according to the elemental spirits of the universe, and not according to Christ. For in him the whole fullness of deity dwells bodily, and you have come to fullness in him, who is the head of every ruler and authority. In him also you were circumcised with a spiritual circumcision by putting off the body of the flesh in the circumcision of Christ. When you were buried with him in baptism, you were also raised with him through faith in the power of God, who raised him from the dead. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia, arise and shine, for your light is come, and the glory of the Most High shines on you. Alleluia. A canticle from the prophet Isaiah. Alleluia, arise and shine, for your light is come, and the glory of the Most High shines on you. For darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Most High shall rise on you, and God's glory shall be seen on you. And the Gentiles shall come to your light, and rulers to the brightness of your rising. Violence shall no more be heard in your land, neither wasting nor destruction within your borders. But you shall call your walls salvation and your gates praise. The sun shall no more be your light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give its light. But God Most High shall be your everlasting light, and your God shall be your everlasting glory. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Most High shines on you. Alleluia. Alleluia. O oh, tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. Alleluia. And the Almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.